Longtime firefighter moved to Linden in West Alabama about a year ago, and that's where his fight has now changed. That's because despite being diagnosed with a terminal disease, he still chooses to volunteer his time. Jake Stansel has the story. Steve's firefighting journey began in a small town in Illinois. I mean, you can see the number of helmets here to kind of put his firefighting career into perspective. Steve then retired, but just for a short bit, took a job with Georgia Pacific that brought him to Pennington, Alabama. But that's where the Linden Fire Station came into the picture, where Steve is now fighting a different type of fight. It's a sound that Steve Deal knows pretty well. I figured it'd be like every other job I had a couple years. I'd be moving on to another job, a job for 33 years to be exact. But if you thought he would fully retire, well, think again. You're not tired of it yet. When I retired from my full time job, I said I'd never do this again. I, I just can't stay away. It's just in the nature. Seemed like we always rode fire trucks. <laughs> it's not often you can have someone come to a volunteer fire station and that qualified to come in and want to come in and help. Danger presents itself on every call. The thing is, though, Steve doesn't have to face the danger alone. Was your dad a huge inspiration as to why you wanted to be a firefighter? Yeah, um, that and my uncle. Once I got to the age where the department started letting me do ride-alongs, I was basically there every weekend. Steve's wife and son are volunteer firefighters alongside him. This one will eventually be passed down to my son. Through the good and bad, being able to help people at their worst times drives Steve to pick up a helmet of his own. Now, Steve is what drives his family to want to do the same. Growing up hearing about family traditions, but never thought I'd be part of it. Not just a job, it is a family. The family moved here to Linden and look, this is a family affair. Steve's grandfather was a firefighter. Steve wore the same uniform. Now his son is carrying on that legacy. You can take the firefighter out of the fire, but you can't take the fire out of the firefighter. Now Steve is fighting his different type of fights. When did you learn about your diagnosis with ALS? September 2022. I didn't think at age 50 I was going to have a disease that's going to potentially progress in two to five years to where I won't be here. Shortly after the move, Steve was diagnosed with a neurological disease known as ALS, and his muscles began to weaken. It sucked <laughs> knowing that there was no cure for it. Don't let that discourage you. You can always be a part of here at the fire station. Were you trying to steer him away from? Sticking with firefighting, or is that something that... I think it's the only thing keeping him going. Calls look different these days. But if it's something where he's like in bed and we have to get him out of bed into the wheelchair to get him in the truck, we'll just leave him at home. Steve finds himself being more of an educator, teaching others about fire safety. His mind is still there, and that allows Steve to answer the call in another way. What does it mean to you, though, to see, despite his struggles, that he still wants to volunteer and be a part of this? It makes me happy because I know how much this means to him. What do you think that says about your dad? Very stubborn. <laughs> it would be nice one day when my husband is gone that, you know, the grandkids will want me to cry. Be able to look back and know that their grandfather made a difference. You see, memories may fade, but they never fully disappear. Steve's legacy is real, and it's felt by so many. Being able to help others and having my family carry on that tradition is, is the best legacy anybody could ever ask for. As time ticks away, there are some unknowns. Steve knows this is his way to continue to make the days count and keep fighting because that's what makes him the real deal. You may have noticed all the shirts in the story that had the real deal on it. It was Jeremiah, Steve's son's idea to help raise funds for Steve and his fight with ALS. We'll provide a link on our website at WBRC.com if you want to be a part of the real deal.